G'day. Welcome to Emergency Medicine Topics in One Coffee. It's pretty hot today, so this is a nice coffee. I'm Alan Giles, an emergency physician, and we're going to look at two forearm fracture dislocations named after two Italian surgeons, Galeazzi and Monteggio. Now, these are important injuries because occasionally they're either missed or they're delayed in their diagnosis in the emergency department. Before we start, there's one important principle I'd like to show. Just using this skeleton, <clears throat> you can see that there's the ulna and the radius. These are bound together by a very tight interosseous membrane. If you get fracture one of these bones with shortening, the other has to either fracture or dislocate. And this is the principle that you'll see in both the Galeazzi fracture dislocations and the Monteggio fracture dislocations. Here are some examples of the Galeazzi fracture dislocations just to get your eye in. Now let's go on to the other Italian surgeon, Monteggio. Giovanni Monteggio described the fracture dislocation in 1812. Interestingly, two years before he had contracted syphilis after doing an autopsy on an infected patient, but that's a whole other story. Finally, there's a whole lot of mnemonics that you can use to try and remember between a Galeazzi and a Monteggio fracture dislocation. I use GFR. Um, Galeazzi is a fractured radius, which means if I know there's a fractured radius, I'll be looking for a dislocated ulna for a Galeazzi. Now, if I know the, the, the radius isn't fractured, I'll be looking for a fractured ulna. I'll know it's the other guy. It's Monteggio. Well, it works for me. Another one which I thought probably is reasonable is frog fractured radius of Galeazzi. You use the same sort of principle. Anyway, I think that'll just about do for the two Italians, Galeazzi and Monteggio, and their fractured forearms, all in one coffee. Well, today, a nice coffee. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Cheers.